ASMR 82. How are you doing? Olá, tudo bem? Vou falar um pouco em português hoje. Porque vamos ver o mapa de Brasil. So, suggestions on um, well for a map and for some history um, and I got some suggestions so thank you so much as you know I love hearing from you I love hearing your comments seeing them I'm not great at connecting with social media, especially at the moment. I'm kind of trying to use my phone less and less. But um, one of you, sorry I can't remember who exactly off the top of my head, suggested last week to do a map video slash history video on Brazil and being that part of my degree is in Portuguese and um, well my degree is Hispanic studies so I had to study Spanish, Portuguese and um, all the history so we studied Brazil quite a lot my teachers were Brazilian um, of Portuguese, obviously. And um, I thought that would be a lovely idea. And it's about the sixth time <laughs> that someone has suggested it as well. So, um, why have an old day? So, let's have a little look at Brazil. of my Portuguese understanding uh, subscribers. I am going to speak a little bit of Portuguese as well. Para praticar um pouco o meu português, porque eu não falo muito neste momento. Ok, so I typed in um, Brazil to the map. And this is an Amazon Fire tablet, I think. It's like the cheapest tablet I could <laughs> find, practically. I just want to sort of use it uh, to read books and do these map videos, so I didn't have to do much. And um, it took me to Brazil, and I thought, oh, it's quite strange, there's quite a lot of English street names. And he was in... So, um, unbeknownst to many people, the capital of Brazil is not Rio. Rio de Janeiro. It used to be, but Brasilia is the capital of Brazil. And if you've never heard of Brasilia, uh, don't worry. It is a how can I put this? Man-made? I mean, all cities are man-made, right? But, um... It's sort of... It was created to be the capital. Which, um... Is not that crazy. They've done it in Kazakhstan recently. They just changed the capital, built, built a new city purpose of, you know, a housing parliament and receiving international guests and stuff, so it can happen. I've noticed it's very noisy outside today, lots of planes in the sky again, after 
a long break. the Parque Nacional de Serra de Bocaina. Praia de Mambucaba. This is Praia is a beach. Like plage in French. Rio de Janeiro. I've viewed so many of these different places, I don't even know where to start. Ah, okay. I've been tricked. Rio de Janeiro. I was like, that looks a bit small. This is more like it. This is proper Rio. Because I found it. One of the things I'm going to get a lot, I knew more or less where it was, but that's even, that's really naughty, isn't it, to have um, a Rio de Janeiro right next to a Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> so, um, this is, this looks a lot more like it, because I'm going to try and find the massive Jesus virus. And I thought to myself, it's on top. Christ the Redeemer, come on. I thought it was supposed to be on the coast. 
Ja ci klubi sypię ci Fogo. Another boat of Ugo. Why have you got so many places at the same time? sense that it, the scale of the country is just unbelievable.
Maracanãzinho de Little Maracanã So they do the training sessions, I suppose Well It's a shame I couldn't find Christ the Redeemer for you, so a little bit about some other places in Brazil. I want to have a look at the north. Recife. I think Recife was where my first teacher was from. So I kind of get mixed up sometimes between um, northern and southern Brazilian accent because I have had teachers with both. means northeast because it's up the north now of Brazil by Santo Avenida Sul Brasilia Teimos Avenida Avenida Boa Viagem that's a nice avenue of the good journey safe trip Pernambuco now is Pernambuco just like the area Remember that video I did on the USA when I didn't realize where any of the places were? I'm kind of having that moment again now. So Recife is the city. Nordeste is the region. Pernambuco is another state. Pernambuco is not another city, is it? So, I mean, you can't really take a look at a map of Brazil and not pay any attention to the Amazon, right? So let's take a look at the Amazon. So the entrance is up here in the north. Belém is here. Somebody will cross the border into like Bolivia. It just keeps going and going and going. It's the longest river in the world, right? It's the biggest man in the Nile. It is incredible. Amazonish. Amazonish. Amazonish is the um, state. Ramon Castilla 
that's a really interesting area. So a little bit of Colombia, just jutting down the south here. There was Amazonas, Amazonas in Spanish, and Amazonas in Portuguese. But it's gone off into so many different ways now, I'm not sure which one's which, so we were following it all the way through Brazil. And we got here, so if we go this way, this is still following the river. No. Does it, oh wow, it's still kind of there. So, as you can see, that is absolutely huge. And then Porto Alegre is down here, it's another large city. Look at that geography, that's absolutely amazing. Batush Lagoon. Right in thinking that the only country in South America that doesn't border Brazil is Chile. So Chile borders Paraguay and Bolivia and Argentina. Where's Paraguay here? So that's on the border. Bolivia's on the border. Argentina, Uruguay, Peru, Colombia. Ah. Ecuador looks tiny in this. So Ecuador doesn't border on Brazil. I mean Ecuador's obviously huge, but it just looks tiny in comparison to amazing Brazil. Uh, Colombia and then Venezuela. Venezuela definitely is on the border of Brazil, just check. And then Guiana, Suriname and French Guiana. So it's just Chile and Ecuador that do not have land borders with Brazil in South America. Insane. Okay, let's look at some facts together. Cut this out. Okay, let's take a look at some info, some facts and figures um, on Brazil. So, Brazil, Portuguese, Brazil, Portuguese pronunciation, Brazil. Officially, the Federative Republic of Brazil. In Portuguese, República Federativa do Brazil. Is the largest country in both South America and Latin America. At about 8.5 million square kilometers. With over 211 
million people. Brazil is the world's fifth largest country by area and sixth most populous. Its capital is Brasilia and its most populous city is Sao Paulo. I'm just going to click on Sao Paulo because we wanted to find that out, didn't we? The metropolis is an alpha global city and the most popular city in Brazil, the Western Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. Besides being the largest Portuguese-speaking city in the world, the municipality is also the world's 12th largest city proper by population. I said it was in the top 20. as a mega city and 12 million people. So just to put that into context, I come from Wales. My hometown is the second biggest, Swansea is the second biggest city in Wales and there are about 230,000 people there, which is a similar to the whole of the population of Iceland and in Wales there's about there are fewer than 4 million so I think we're up to about 3.8 3.9 million in my entire country so this one city is about three times the size of Wales so everyone in my country times three is just one of their cities unbelievable. I just want to do a little bit in Portuguese for you. Brazil. Localmente, Brazil. Oficialmente, República Federativa do Brasil. E o maior país da América do Sul é da região da América Latina, sendo o quinto maior do mundo em área total territorial. Equivalente a 47,3% do território sul-americano e sexto em população. Com mais de 210 milhões de habitantes. É o único país na América onde se fala majoritariamente a língua portuguesa. É o maior país lusófono do planeta. Além de ser uma das nações mais multiculturais e etnicamente diversas, em decorrência da forte imigração, oriunda de variados locais do mundo, sua atual constituição, promulgada em 1988, concebe o Brasil como uma república federativa presidencialista formada pela União dos 26 Estados do Distrito Federal e dos 
Brazilian Sign Language, Tucano, Ningatu, Baniwa, German and Italian. The official language and national language is Portuguese. 47 and a bit white. 43 mixed. 7 black, 1 Asian and less than 1%. Less than half a percent. A merry Indian. 64% Catholic. Brazil likely comes from the Portuguese word for Brazil wood, a tree that once grew plentifully along the Brazilian coast. In Portuguese, Brazil wood is called Pau Brasil, with the word Brazil commonly given the etymology red like an ember, formed from Brasa, ember, and the suffix il from iculum or ilium. As Brazil wood produces a deep red dye, it was highly valued by the European textile industry and was the earliest commercially exploited product from Brazil. Throughout the 16th century, Massive amounts of Brazil wood are harvested by indigenous peoples, mostly Tupi, along the Brazilian coast, who sold the timber to European traders, mostly Portuguese but also French, in return for assorted European consumer goods. official Portuguese name of the land in original Portuguese records was the land of the Holy Cross, Terra de Santa Cruz, but European sailors and merchants commonly called it simply the land of Brazil, Terra do Brasil, because of the Brazil wood trade. The popular appellation eclipsed and eventually supplanted the official Portuguese name. Some early sailors called it the land of parrots. In the Guarani language, an official language of Paraguay, Brazil is called Pindorama. This was the name of the indigenous population. This was the name the indigenous population gave to the region, meaning land of the palm trees. And as you might be aware, or have figured out during this video, that Brazil was um, originally a part of Portugal. Aha, geography, here we go. Brazil occupies a large area along the eastern coast of South America and includes much of the continent's interior, sharing land borders with Uruguay to the south, Argentina and Paraguay to the southeast, Bolivia and Peru to the west, Colombia to the northwest, and Venezuela, Guiana, Suriname and France, French Guiana to the north. It shares a border with every South American country except Ecuador and Chile, which we just figured out right. Brazil is the fifth largest country in the world and the third largest in the Americas, with a total area of a really big number. Is that 8 million kilometers? It spans 
represents four time zones, from UTC 5, or minus 5, comprising the state of Acre, and the westernmost portion of the Amazonas, to UTC 4 in the western states, UTC 3 in the eastern states, and UTC 2 in the Atlantic Islands. Brazil is the only country in the world that has the equator and the Tropic of Capricorn running through it. Brazilian topography is also diverse and includes hills, mountains, plains, islands and scrublands. Much of the terrain lies between 200 metres and 500 metres in elevation. The main upland area occupies most of the southern half of the country. The northwestern parts of the plateau consist of broad, rolling terrain, broken by low, rounded hills. The southeastern section is more rugged, with a complex mass of ridges and mountain ranges, reaching elevations of up to 1,000 meters. These ranges include the Manchiqueira and the Espinhaço mountains and the Serra do Mar. In the north, the Guiana Highlands form a main major draining, drainage divide, separating rivers that flow south into the Amazon Basin from rivers that empty into the Orinoco River system in Venezuela to the north. The highest point in Brazil is the Pico da Neblina. Pico is like top of the mountain, Neblina is clouds or mist. At 2,994 meters, and the lowest is the Atlantic Ocean. Brazil has a dense and complex system of rivers, one of the world's most extensive, with eight major drainage basins, all of which drain into the Atlantic. Major rivers include the Amazon, the world's second longest river, and the largest in terms of volume of water. The Paraná and its major tributary, tributary, the Iguazu, which includes the Iguazu Falls, I'd love to go there, the Negru, São Francisco, Xingu, Madeira, and Tapajós rivers. I think I don't need to tell you that of biodiversity in the Amazon in particular is astonishing and one of the major reasons we need to look after it. you're fast asleep and you can't hear any of this, 
big shout out to my current patrons, you wonderful people, and all my lovely subscribers. Thank you so much. Keep the comments coming. You know, I absolutely love them. I answer every single one. And I would like to say thank you for suggesting this video. And I will look forward to further suggestions by yourselves. Uh, maybe under this video to give me an idea of where in the world we're going to look at next. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. Sleep well. Have a lovely, relaxing time, night, morning, day, whatever you are, whatever you're watching this video for. I hope it's helped a little bit. And we'll speak soon, okay? Bye 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 bye. Thank you for subscribing, commenting, and liking my videos. It really means so much to me. A special thank you to my supporters on Patreon. The link is in the description box if you want to join them. Also, now you can support me by just watching me on Tingles. <laughs>